My dudes, what's going on? We got a brand new patch note recap and some beautiful quality of life. Also, we'll be announcing the winner of the Ram plushie, so make sure to stay tuned to the end. Anyways, let's get into it. Version 1.79 and we got Taskboard and Merit Shop. Lava Larry is a brand new NPC for World 5, located just beside the Sugma portal in the World 5 town. Do the quest, unlock the task board after you're getting a few World 5 monster materials. World 5 tasks are simple, yet difficult due to RNG, but hey, that's what World 5 was all about. From making distance sailing, to upgrading boats, farming plants, and even getting a bigger nugget, and even slap gaming. Doing these tasks will award you merits, so let's talk about them. Merit Shop is a massive upgrade for progression, such as the first Merit Shop purchase that you want to buy, which is the mob respawn. You want to max this out as soon as possible. Also, the increase to loot piles for sailing, getting those artifacts will be a pinchy bit easier. A brand new star talent that will give you base stats, and maxing out the Merit Shop to level 10 will give that star talent level to be at 300, which will give you 300 base stats, but that also means that you got to spend 300 star talent points, which is pretty expensive. We got some more XP for gaming, sailing, and divinity to help progress faster, and we also have a flat rate 20% reduction to atom costs for the atom collider, which is actually massive if you're at that part of the game. We also have an insane amount of tab 4 talent points so you can get those elite class talents nice and maxed out and the new armor boss recipes for cattle crook which will soon be a world 5 boss in my opinion this is what you should level up in the merit shop first would be mob respawn followed by loot piles the atom reduction if you're there yet the base stat star talent the xp percent and then talent points but make sure to reserve at least eight merit points for when the brand new boss comes out. And if you haven't, make sure to buy the brand new World 4 Merit Shop, an extra plus three to bubbles to upgrade for no bubble left behind, which is actually overpowered and it's a must. Next up, we have achievements, which is actually personally my favorite part about this game. But these World 5 achievements are actually massive ranging from skill XP to damage percent to bit gain to even extra loot piles. In the gem shop, you can also buy more chest slugs. So with merit shops, plus the slugs, plus the achievements, all put together, you can get a maximum of 30 chests in a pile. There's also three brand new secret achievements available for World 5, and since you're part of the itty bitty army, I'll tell you how to get them. Utter disrespect comes from buying a sailor in sailing and instantly selling it. Sneaky stealing is from running behind the World 5 shop merchant and broken controller, which requires you to unlock poing and score zero points. The poing controller is located in gaming in imports and it's at the far right. Also, some brand new World 4 achievements required from your new elite classes, the Elemental Sorcerer, the Siege Breaker, and the Divine Knight to get 1 million kills for portals, plunderous mobs, and orb kills. The flag is by far going to take the longest because plunderous mobs doesn't really drop by the hundreds of thousands. Some huge quality of life stuff happened as well. When looking at the map, there's a new sidebar that shows mob type, mob drop, NPC on the map, and if it's a skilling resource, it'll show that as well. Just beautifies the map and makes it much easier to traverse the map to find what you're looking for. Lava also gave us five free teleports to everybody, so thank you for that, Lava. We appreciate it. And for talents, we could officially times max for talent points, so we don't have to keep on spamming times 25 for our 220 max talents. So it makes our idle on life just a little bit easier. Also, make sure to check out the gem shop because there's a new limited edition shop in rotation, including a previously vaulted premium hat known as Parasite, Divinity and Holy Pearls, another four stack of Hyper Ovals, another World 4 Kill Ring, seven dungeon dice, and for our free to play dudes, we got two free bottles of wins. All right, my dudes, it's giveaway time. And the winner for the limited edition Eidolon exclusive Ram plushie is Hadix. Congrats, my dude. I'll be getting in contact with you. And we can get it sent your way. There you go, my dudes. Another beautiful patch note recap. I hope you guys enjoyed. But anyways, itty bitty army, I gotta get back to guide grind. Stay tuned for the next Eidolon video. Stay safe. Happy grinding. And peace out.